this past Sunday in Las Vegas during a country music concert, one crazy prick popped out a window at the Mandalay Bay and started shooting an automatic weapon into a crowd of 22,000 people. 59 people unfortunately died. Over 500 people were wounded. And just like after every other shooting that's happened over the past few years in this country, three things happened. Number one, everyone asked why. Number two, everyone asked how. And number three, Republicans told you, now is not the time to talk about gun control. Just so we're clear, when is the right time? This is not a new phenomenon, unfortunately. It's sadly, we're all getting used to it, but everyone's going to sit on their hands and do nothing about it because, what, the Second Amendment when they only had muskets? That makes sense. So when is the right time? I would love to know. This morning there was an opinion piece in the New York Times, and I stress the word opinion piece, saying, is it time to repeal the Second Amendment? No, it's definitely not the time to repeal the Second Amendment completely. That's ludicrous, that's ridiculous. Too many people have guns, too many people love their guns, and to be fair, people have the right to protect their homes. I'm totally cool with that. I think most everyone is. Here's the thing. The opinion piece was turned into Democrats in the New York Times want to abolish the Second Amendment. We told you they're coming for your guns. Stand by your windows and watch guard and make sure they don't come for you and your family. It's like, dude, shut up. This is what always happens after one of these damn things happens. People wonder what the hell. Like, why is someone allowed to bring 15 to 20 semi-automatic guns so anywhere it's not even somewhere anywhere and mow people down why why are they even given the damn option home security home safety you want to be paranoid think everyone's out to get your tv because your tv is more special than everyone else's tv have a handgun why not make sure you keep it away from your damn children because statistically <laughs> Guess who's getting shot with that gun? It's not a burglar. But I see no problem with that. I don't personally own a gun because my TV's shit. <laughs> Seriously, why can't we have a serious conversation ever about the fact that people are walking around with military grade weapons at all times? Why can't we talk about the fact that people can go to a gun show and buy it with a background check? Any gun! any damn gun they want. Why is it legal for sellers to go to a gun show and sell weapons that aren't meant for protection, but are literally meant just to kill other people? It's not a handgun. It's not even a hunting rifle. After Sandy Hook, someone raised their hand and said, hey, could we possibly talk about the fact that he used the semi-automatic rifle? Can we get that damn thing out of people's hands? And of course, the NRA's response was, We have blood-soaked films out there, like American Psycho, Natural Born Killers, that are aired like propaganda loops on splatter days, and every single day. The Pulse nightclub shooting happened in Orlando, and someone raised their hand and said, Hey, dude used the same automatic rifle that was used in Sandy Hook shoot innocent people any chance we could talk about maybe not letting that be an option and the nra said i mean they can play this game but they're coming these terrorists are coming and this is one of the greatest abandonments of the american public by the political class and their media elite enablers that i've ever seen they all know this is a terrorism issue they don't want to talk about it they don't want to talk about their failures. It's an embarrassment to them. So they want to divert attention and say, hey, this is all gun control. San Bernardino happened. Countless of other smaller events happened. Not nearly as impactful as far as news goes, but still ruined lives and killed people. And now we've got Las Vegas. At a country music festival, by the way, where I'm guessing more than most people supported the Second Amendment and the NRA. Yet here we are, 59 people are dead. 
500 other people were hospitalized. And before anyone even had the chance to raise their hand, what did they say? I thought it was inappropriate yesterday for people uh, in this early hours to be jumping up and raising this as an issue. Uh, you know, let's wait a few days, see what happened. Let's not, because what it did was it, it politicized a, tra a tragedy. And if people are really interested in getting some sort of reasonable gun regulation in place, all they're doing is hurting the case by, you know, the way, uh, the way they reacted yesterday. This is not the time to talk about gun control right after a tragedy. Let's wait until everyone calms down and forgets the question, just like they seem to always do. Just so we're clear, and the message has been made loud and clear, there will never be an appropriate time to talk about gun control in this country, because profits will always mean more than human lives. So statistically in six months or so, someone's going to have to raise their hand again. And non-ironically, they're going to get shot down again. My name is Jacob Calloway, and that was Just So We're Clear.